Welcome back to Zacchaeus. Today we're going to do another unboxing for you. Today it's the Xbox One S, the white launch edition. This bad boy has two gigabytes in it. It has a 4K Ultra Blu-ray disc player in it, which is pretty awesome for the money. You're getting a lot out of this system. It also is a lot slimmer, a lot faster, and we're going to unbox it for you now and let you see what's inside of it. Well, I hope you enjoyed getting to see what's inside this bad boy. Um, all the cool features it has. Um, we've been using it for about two or three weeks now. I'm a huge Hitman fan, so I've been playing the new Hitman on it. Really phenomenal graphics. Um, pretty easy to use, actually. I was kind of worried about the new Windows 10 update, but the interface is really cool. The always on feature is very cool. I don't have to wait for it to boot up and load. Um, getting to my game is pretty quick. Um, overall, it's a pretty great product. Um, I am on the fence about getting a PS4 Pro, and I'm sure many of you are as well. So we're hoping to do a review of that as well coming up soon. But for now, we uh, chose the Xbox One because of the game choices and a lot of, a lot of different things. We saw in the Xbox 360 that it held up a little bit longer than the PlayStation 3. It had a lot more, um, a lot more bang for the buck, especially with that 4K Blu-ray player. You just can't really get get away from how that value is so well, well built into the system. And it also has everything else. You really only need this system if you're a cable cutter, because it offers you Netflix, Amazon, Hulu, Vu, all the different. Uh, all the different apps that you need to watch TV, watch movies on besides play games. It's also going to integrate with home automation eventually. And of course we're looking to see if Amazon and Google step up into this market because it would be a great way for them to tie in to gaming and then home automation and then all the other great stuff they offer. So I think it's going to become a more competitive space. There's a lot of Kickstarter things going on too. But for now, this is pretty much king. Um, a lot of people would argue with me about that. And of course, if you play games that the PlayStation only carries and you love those games like Uncharted, which I love, um, then you have to go with PlayStation. But the money, the value is really, really about equal at this point. But I think in the long run, Xbox is gonna have a lot more titles and a lot more longevity. So that's why I chose it first. And of course, I'm into white, so I love the white. Um, all my stuff is white, as you'll see a lot of the white on this reviews. But um, I'm, I might do a PS4 Pro, so stay tuned for that video. Uh, I know this wasn't really a review video, it's more of an unboxing, but I just wanted to throw some of that in there since we have opened it and played it uh, since shooting the unboxing. And I hope you enjoyed this video. As all our videos, we are here just to help you see what's in the boxes, help you make better choices with your money, and hopefully help you 
as you connect your home, whether it's through gaming or home tech or whatever. Please like the video if you like it. Please comment below. I love reading your comments, your questions, and please subscribe. We're going to have a lot more new videos coming up full of home tech, full of gaming, full of all kinds of cool stuff. And we will see you in the next one.